AUDJPY, right? Uh, hit resistance and UJ is ranging. The news did not move the market much. Yeah, looks like there was a big news in the US. Again, it, there was a, it was this one, ISM, uh, manufacturing PMI. But uh, yeah, looks like it's not really moving that news. So USDJPY is up on the daily, but lower time frames are ranging. You can tell by these candles. Let's see, 4 hour is the price below Kumo, so it's range. So looks like the daily chart is the only one that is trending. So um, in this case, I would wait until the market breaks the 4 hour resistance, which is 149.72, and plan to buy. If that happens sometime this week, um, I may look for the buying edge on this one. And AUDJPY hits resistance. Let me check. So AUDJPY is this one. Okay, it hits the resistance and also the single span A. And this is too spiky. Yeah, looks like the every day we have lots of uh, wicks up and down, especially uh, between um, between 20th of October and 22nd, sorry, 24th on Monday, um, there was a big spike. And this is called inside bar. Inside, so this is typical ranging market. So I can see that uh, AUDJPY also has no trend. So, and it's spiky in the lower time frames. So, I continue to stay away until it breaks the resistance level of 95.772 and plan to buy afterwards. If it breaks that level, then um, I think the market goes to, goes to uh, initially up to here, 96.56 and then target to the resistance level, 98.62. But so far, it's ranging, so that means it may reverse also. So if it reverse, then I think the market goes down to the daily Kijun Sen. Because the market usually comes back to Kijun Sen as the Ichimoku uh, range uh, pattern. So every time you see the Kijun Sen is a green one, and every time that the market takes off from Kijun Sen, it always comes back. And once the market breaks Kijun Sen, it goes away from the Kijun Sen and then comes back now. So now it broke the Kijun Sen bullish and it's up now. So, so far this is bullish in the short term, but since Kijun Sen is flat and Kumo flat, the market may reverse. It may be resisted at the previous resistance, 95.72, and then may reverse back to the Kijun Sen. That's why I say we have to wait for the breakout of the resistance and plan to buy. If it breaks resistance, then I think the market goes up to the next resistance and then come back to Kijun Sen. So at least we can get some pips upwards this way. I hope you enjoyed today's video and in last word I would like to add this one before ending the video today and that is improve step by step every day and never try to be successful tomorrow because oftentimes I see some traders comes to the forex market or in other markets and they try to be successful as soon as possible and that motivation is okay but uh, if you rush to make profits, if you rush to achieve some goal, then uh, you may fail very quickly. Because success only comes based on this continuation of the step-by-step -step effort, step-by-step -step improvement every day. So success does not relate to how much you know about the trades, how much you know about the indicators or the markets. The success only comes from this improvement continuously, step by step. So, even when you're losing, then look back your trace and look for the areas you can improve your trace. And even if it's successful, also look back your own successful trace and try to find an area to improve your trace. Maybe your profit might be a bit too early, 
or your break-even timing might be a, too, a bit too early too, or your stop loss was a bit too tight also. So in both ways, whether it's a losing trades or winning trades, uh, please look back your own trades because that's the only way you can success in the long term. So thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button. And I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.